In my previous video, I've shown you how to prevent Opera browser from automatically updating. And then one of the viewers has asked me in the comments how to roll back Opera to a previous version. So now I'm gonna show you step by step how to do this. If you click on the menu and then select update and recovery, you could see your latest Opera version. Also, Opera would be searching for new updates and if it finds one, it would update your Opera. Click on the start and search notepad, select notepad, copy your current Opera's version and paste it onto this notepad. Click on the address bar and type opera colon forward slash forward slash about enter here. Once again, you could see Opera's version, but now if you would scroll down, you could see Opera's parts. We are most interested in where Opera is installed. So copy the installation path and paste it to your notepad. Just to be on the safe side, save your notepad. There are three different versions of Opera. One is regular, one is GX, and the other is crypto. In this example, I will show you how to roll back regular Opera, but you could use the same method for GX or crypto Opera as well. From these links, you could download previous Opera versions, and I will provide these links in the description of this video. So go to the description of this video and copy the link. Then go to your address bar and paste the link. Here you can see the list of all the versions, also the date and the time. My current version, which is 101, was updated on 26th of July 2023. And if I will scroll further down to the bottom of this list, you could see a few of the June's updates are there. And a few of the June's updates are up at the top. And just below 2023, you could see 2013. So basically, you need to carefully search the version version and the year that you want to install. In my case, I would install the 99th version from 27th of June 2023, which is exactly one month prior to my version. So click on it to select it. Select Win for Windows. As you can see, there are so many different versions of Opera and we are interested in the setup version and most computers nowadays are 64 bit, but still double check that you got 64 bit and then select setup x64 and now don't change the setup file location, leave it in the downloads folder and then click on save. Once the download is completed, you could click on here to open the downloaded folder and you can see the setup setup file is there. Now we can close Opera, click on the start, select all apps, scroll down to Opera browser, right click and select uninstall. And then it would open programs and features, scroll down to Opera and then select it and then select uninstall. Make sure delete my Opera user data is unchecked and then select uninstall. You can give a reason why you're uninstalling Opera and then select uninstall and then you will get a warning message. Are you sure? So click on yes to uninstall Opera. You can see Opera browser is now removed from programs and features. So you can close this, go to your notepad and copy where Opera browser was installed. Go to file explorer and paste Opera's browser's address on here and then enter select programs and here you can see even though we have uninstalled opera browser opera browsers folder is still here so right click on it and select delete and then select yes to completely delete this folder select start and type cmd select command prompt type cd space then go to your downloads folder and select your downloads folder address and then copy it come back to the command prompt type quotation mark and then Control v to paste downloads folder address and then quotation mark enter this would then change the directory to the downloads folder then go to the description of this video you should find this line of code copy this line to your notepad once again, go to the downloads folder, right click on the setup file, select rename, right click on the name and select copy. Now go back to the notepad and then in the notepad, select your Opera's version setup just before .exe and paste your own version from the downloads folder. Now copy the whole line. 
go back to the commands prompt control V to paste this line and then enter this would start Opera's setup file but the difference is after the setup file is installed it would not launch Opera so now you can click on options make the changes you want one important thing to uncheck is run when my computer starts and then click on accept and install if you select configure in settings you could also change a few other settings in here then select confirm choices and then finally opera would start installing just a quick note i've tried to run the same code in windows powershell but unfortunately it doesn't work so it's important to use command prompt and not windows powershell but you don't need to run it as an administrator now the installation is completed and as you can see opera didn't start automatically so click on start select all programs under recently added you should see opera right click move the cursor over more and then select open file location here you should see opera browser shortcut right click on it and then select open file location open the folder with your opera's version find the file called opera underscore auto update right click and select rename at the end of the file name add dot off this should prevent auto update from starting now click on start and type task scheduler select task scheduler click on task scheduler library and then in the middle pan select name to arrange it by name you might have to click twice and then you should find opera scheduler select it this scheduler basically runs opera auto update so right click on it and select disable to disable it and i got another opera scheduler so right click on that as well and make sure to select disable once again select start and this time type task manager select task manager go to the start up tab find opera browser you can already see in here that in my case the status is disabled that's because during installation i unchecked start up but if in your case it is enabled then right click on it and select disable now you can close the task manager you can also close task scheduler and finally if you click on start go to all programs and select opera browser then opera would start with the version that we have just installed now if you would select menu and then select update and recovery you could see your opera's version in here and you can also see that opera is checking for updates but because we have disabled updates after a while opera would give an error saying an error occurred while checking for updates so that's it opera won't be able to update newer version word of caution opera updates are not just for opera's looks or features they are very important for browsers security so by using an older version of opera you got to be much more careful browsing online basically don't use opera old version for dodgy websites I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please don't forget to subscribe to support my channel. You can find my other videos in here. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below.